Hi, this is Justice. In this video, I'm going to be sharing some of the new improvements to the pen tool. Um, I'm using the two button R520 stylus, which you can find on tabletpro.com, the website. And for the pen tool, we've made some really cool improvements that I'm very happy about. Um, let's go ahead and, and put down a couple different colors. All right, that will work. Now, in the past, the problem was, is the pen tool, when the side button's pressed down, if the program like Photoshop is already saying, we've already got control of this button, it belongs to us, you cannot override it, all we could do is we could add to it. That means if I pressed Alt and I went to pick a color, what would happen is we would get resize like this, which is not useful if you want to pick a color. So the pen tool had a workaround, and that workaround was a fast color picker, which is Alt, hover Alt. Um, let's see here. I'll go ahead and open up the pen tool. We made a lot of improvements to the pen tool. It opens faster, and um, this whole process input mode has been modified, which I'll show you in just a second. So this option, this new option is called tap to unlock. And what it means is this is going to be a single use button. You tap the button, the modifier stays on, until you use the pen or you tap the button again. So I'm going to uh, tap the modifier and I'm using the pen and I pull the pen up and the modifier turns off. It's pretty intuitive. So if you're using ZBrush or something like that, you're probably gonna wanna keep that option um, where it used to be, which is just like that. All right, okay, so that is a new feature. Uh, works obviously with all the modifiers Input mode is different now. You have a uh, configuration window that lets you choose a number of different things. So if I wanted to do space plus control and alt, I can have a keyboard shortcut that does that. This is a lot more powerful than the version we had before, and it's a lot faster in um, how the, everything loads. So in the past, it would sometimes the pen tool would lag when you tried to open it. Now it does not. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with the last couple versions, we have this really powerful input panel. This is the advanced input panel. And here you can choose a hotkey or click. And uh, what, what happens here, hotkey, so this one, let's go ahead and we're going to select, um, let's just say volume up. And uh, we'll say OK. This one we have set to click. So let's click... Let's click this little button right up here. So we're going to drag from here to there. And the next one, click. Let's go ahead and click right there. And click Apply. So you can do a combination of different things. Now if I double click on Apply, we're going to close the, the Tablet Pro Pen Tool panel. Okay. All right, so I'm going to click. And you can see I clicked right here. Now the next click. You can see I clicked right here, and the click after that. What did we put in there? Control plus backslash will open up the panel. Let's look. What did I do? Volume up. Okay, let's just we'll just do a normal one like undo. Uh, control and then let's type the letter Z. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go through these different things. We'll double click, and we did undo. Click, click, undo, click, click, undo. Anyway, really powerful. Probably not what you would do, but if you wanted to click a bunch of different things on the screen in sequence, you can do that. Uh, all right, let's open up. Let's open up the pen tool window again. Uh, we've added a bunch of different shortcuts to uh, make the tool more powerful and to add function to Tablet Pro desktop software. So you have um, obviously Win Shift plus backslash. So let me show you that. That's going to make the open window transparency drop, which is useful for a lot of different things. So you can still, like if we have Photoshop open and let's say I wanted to um, draw something that was underneath it, I can. You know, this is absolutely the wrong way to do it, but you can see what, what I mean. It would allow you to trace, or if you're taking notes, you can take notes from 
uh, a document that's underneath and have OneNote open or something like that. Okay, Win Shift plus backslash. And we have um, Tablet Pro side mode. So Win Key, Shift Q, side mode, Win Key, Shift A is uh, Artist Pad. Win Key, Shift F is Float. Win Key, Shift M is Full Screen Mode. The Hide Tablet Pro is Win Key, Shift D, Win Shift D is going to turn that off, which is difficult to see if it's not visible. So Win Shift D, Win Shift A. To adjust the size of the outer pad is zero, minus, and plus, plus Win Shift. So that's medium, that's small, and that's large. Let's go back to medium. And uh, hiding the taskbar. I actually really like this because I like drawing full screen and I don't want to switch between the different menus like going into hide the taskbar and show the taskbar or switching back and forth in between tablet mode is, is really a pain in the butt. I don't like it. So we added a little, little thing here. So when control T is going to show and hide the taskbar, which is great. It extends the artist pad all the way down, extends your UI here. So if I wanted to do inside of Photoshop, full screen, drawing or painting, and toggle fake cursor. Okay, so the fake cursor, Alt plus tilde. Let me show you that. You will probably never use this. Okay, Alt plus tilde. So you can see I've got the mouse pointer and now the mouse pointer is gone. So there is another mode inside the pen tool, which I've been talking about for a while and working on for a while. It is not perfect yet, but it's usable and uh, we're still working on making it better. All right, so let me just go ahead and demonstrate that. So here I've got the pointer and let's open up a program. Okay, so say I'm somewhere like in Explorer and now I can go up here and without moving my arm around the screen, basically it's just it's turning the screen into a trackpad. And what you can see is you can navigate just like you would with the mouse, except for with the pen. So there's a lot of different programs. Like I have certain ones that I use in Chrome and inside of Chrome, you can't navigate certain things with the pen. There's just a different function. And so this gives you the option of going through menus um, dragging and dropping things and um, just doing things like a normal pen would. Now I would recommend putting the first button as the invert button as mouse mode and the um, barrel button as right click because uh, that gives you right click and left click function for uh, simulated uh, mouse. Uh, the By the way, this mode is set to automatically turn off after a uh, short wait so that if you start tapping on the screen and you notice that it's not clicking where you want, it's actually probably clicking over here on the side where the mouse pointer is. If you leave it for a little bit, it'll just turn off so that it causes less confusion in the future. And then you just turn it back on and it stays on while you're using it. For the most part, so you can notice it just turned off again. Okay, the lock icon, if you are wanting to not have anything change here, the lock icon will keep you in the same mode the whole time. Uh, definitely recommend using this if you have trouble with these things, doing different things than you're expecting them to. Right down here, there's a number of different presets. I have a video out already on how to use these. The, the quick version is if you have a program, let's say you're using uh, Rebel 4, and you want it to do uh, the input mode is space, and the second one as alt, then you would set that. And then when rebel four loads, it's going to use these for the side button functions. In addition to that, you can have it load a tablet pro preset right in here, connect with tablet pro, uh, hide tablet pro panel will hide it instead of load it. And then this should be zero. All right. And pick the preset file. Nope, not what I want. All right, you can choose which mode to load and then click update preset. 
again, double click here, we'll hide it. And then if we switch over to Rebel, you notice that it automatically loads the artist pad. If you have the tool and you like it and you haven't rated it in the app store yet, click this button right here. It'll open up the Windows store um, to the page. And then you have an option right over uh, here to rate it. And it is currently not rated very high. And I would really appreciate uh, you guys helping me bring that up. Just click here to rate, click to rate. Oh, it's the update already. I just updated, updated today. Yay. All right. Very cool. All right. If you haven't bought it, please buy. It. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please put suggestions for the pen tool in the video. We have a new smart mode for modifiers coming to the side button, which is going to be awesome. I'm very excited about it. And that's it. Okay. All right. Have a great day. Bye.